What's up, everyone? What's up, guys? So we're here in Fullerton, and a uh, very exciting day. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's been uh, seven years. Well, eight years, actually. Eight and a half years since we've met. And uh, I think a lot of you know our story. A year and a half, we were good friends. I was definitely um, in <laughs> chase mode. And, uh, and then around seven years ago, Help as me. of June of uh, 2011, so yep. now it's June 2018, it's about seven years we've been together, and we are about to make the next step. So we're here, we're at a, uh, a jewelry company right now called Happy Jewelers, and they're gonna help us pick out a ring. And, uh, and I told him the only thing I wanna be a part of is, you know, picking out the ring, designing it, this is a piece that I'm gonna wear forever, and. Let's she wants it to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be perfect for her. And then I'm responsible for surprising her with the engagement, making it romantic and all of that. So I'm, I'm already yeah, working on it, but I got to surprise her because she knows me very well. So I got to figure out a way of how can I surprise her. But that's going to be my job. But first, it's going to be picking out the ring. And I also want to add, I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I went to YouTube. I've looked at different things. And there's just like the four C's. We got to figure out her ring size. So I'm actually glad we're here so I don't have any guesswork. We're going to get her the perfect ring. So um, you want to come check out the jewelry Let's with us? Let's do this thing. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey, Lee. Hi. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. So good to be here. Nice to finally put a you know face to the voice. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Yes, this was very exciting. Um, we woke up very excited to do this, but I'm also kind of nervous because I, you know, but I'm glad you're here, so I don't have to do this on my own. Yeah. But I guess we're gonna put it in your core just because we've never done it before. Like, what are the steps? Like, what do we? Where do we start? What do we? And I've never even sized my ring before, so I don't know any of that. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We'll explain color, clarity, all that stuff to you, so everything kind of makes sense. We bring each stone out. Okay. Do you have a picture too? Oh, you wanted. I was looking at. That's always helpful. And then, does this have an under halo? Oh, sure, both. We'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no worries. I know nothing. You just like that, okay, right? Perfect. That's good. So this is pretty much what that picture was that you showed. This has this basket underneath with no diamonds. But if we were to put diamonds on it, it would be considered an under halo. So when Got you put it. the stone on, you don't see it from the top, but you do see it, you know, from yes. the side, the side angle. <laughs> Each ring we make is custom made. The reason why our rings will always turn out really pretty, perfect, is because we, we do custom make every ring for the specific stone and specific measurements because no one diamond has the exact measurements as another diamond. Okay. All the depth, the table, the measurements, they're all different, especially on ovals and radiants and elongated stones, you always want to custom make. Can you want to try some more? Yes! Let's <laughs> see what your, your, uh, your ring size is too. Yes. Yeah. So you look like a four. Try this one. Nervous excited. Four and three quarters. Okay. Four Mine's three actually a size four if you want to try it. I mean, <laughs> this is a might four. as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think actually, I think you can really get shittier. Really? I think like three and three quarters. Oh, my little finger. Oh, wow. That's always good. The diamond will look big. Right? <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Three and a half. Is really? Lucky. Is that rare? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is. See, now if you get we don't have too many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll look double the size almost. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, let's show you some stones. Look, in a diamond, you have the four C's, which I'm sure you right Did a little that. research on this, yeah. <laughs> the carat weight, the cut, the color, and the clarity. Cut is the number one most important part about your diamond. Cut will determine the sparkle of your stone. So there's all types of diamonds. There's a perfectly cut stone, there's deep cut stones, and then there's shallow cut stones. So all the facets in the diamonds work as mirrors. So if you have too deep of a stone, it's not perfectly proportional. When light comes in, it's gonna bounce through the bottom and through the sides. Same thing with the shallow cut stone. When light comes in, it's gonna go through the sides. But when you have a perfectly cut stone, when the light comes in, it's going to bounce right back out. Perfect. 
second is the color. The reason why this, the color is the second most important part is because you can't hide color, it'll show if you have color in a diamond. The color chart will go from D to Z. D to F being the best, which is colorless, and then you have G to J, and etc. As long as you're in the eye color and better, you're not going to see color to your diamond. The reason why is because laboratories will grade diamonds in between two pieces, of two pieces of white paper upside down at a 90 degree angle and they'll look at it from the girdle, which is right here, to the bottom of the stone. So what they're seeing in between two pieces of white paper upside down is not what you're going to see face up. Yeah, so very good on the cut and then with GH or I basically for the color. Yeah. Clarity is the third. The reason why clarity comes third is clarity is also very important, but all diamonds have imperfections to them. That's what makes them valuable. If all diamonds were flawless, they wouldn't be as valuable. So you have, it goes from flawless to I3. Flawless being the best, I3 being the worst. And in between there, you'll get VVS, VS, and SI. And even in all these SIs, VSs, they're all, they're all different categories, right? You have VVS1, you'll have VVS2, etc. to the SI. A VVS stone is, what the laboratory is telling you is they're pretty much telling you the stone is flawless. Other than one little pinpoint in the diamond, like a little dot, there's no other inclusions. And even a trained eye with a 10 times loop will not be able to spot the inclusions. You can only see them under microscopes. So as long as you're in the VS1 to SI2 range, I would actually say SI1. VS1, SI1, SI2, in this four areas, Okay. you're fine. So diamonds come in all shapes. So there's cushion cut, emerald, marquee, oval, pear, princess cut, rating cut, and rounds. Well, I think that's a good place to start then is like, yeah. you know. Yeah. And we'll of course tell you the color and clarity of each stone that we show you. Okay. And then we'll have this for reference. Love, Love it. it. What to go with. We came in to test drive like a Jeep and they pull out with a Lambo and say, hey, why don't you take this for a spin in comparison? So let's actually go ahead and put your hands out. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to put the stones kind of loosely on there. Yeah. And this is the first three carat. I got it. And this will be the second. It's so damn close. Yeah. That it's like, I mean. We can also go outside and see it in the natural light, too. So of course, you're never going to be in oh. the size until you come back in here. True. Yeah. So, do you want to take it outside and see it? We can do that. They both look like really, really nice. I know. No, they're both they're both just outrageous. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Careful, babe. I know. <laughs> what? I mean. I think we should go with that one. <laughs> what do you think? Either it's one whatever. It's a beautiful choice. I mean, it's whatever. I think it's what. That's you know. I just it's love your the ring, way, so whatever you think is best. I love the way that one looks on my finger, the way it fits, just everything. I think it looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go with this one. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh we just got a uh, engagement ring. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying of Oh wow, this is cool. Alrighty, you guys, you don't need anything. I will let you know if this is ready. And then you will take the start and we'll talk about insurance and all that stuff once you come back to get it. Okay. So, yeah.
Thank you again. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. This was awesome. Yeah, we had a great experience. Awesome. awesome. So All right. Well, I'm excited to see the final product. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. And then, uh, yeah, see you in like three weeks to a month, and we'll make it happen. All right. Take care. Thank you. Any better. <sighs> we did it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's definitely step one of three. Ring, engagement, wedding. I seriously am gonna cry right now. I love you so much. I love you too. She was so happy and it was so, so amazing to watch you like, you know, have that moment and I'm glad that we could do it together. No one I'd rather do it yeah. with than you. Well, I love you. And love you deserve you. the best, so I'm glad you found the ring you wanted. We had the greatest people that were helping us and Happy Jewelers, like, oh, love them, love them. Made the experience very good. Amazing. So, so yeah, I'm picking it up in a few weeks and the next time, well, you're not gonna actually see the final product until the big moment. So, um, me and Brian <laughs> are gonna put in some work on how we can uh, surprise you and. Get it on tape. It'll be amazing. And I'm gonna make it romantic because you deserve the best. I love, I love you. It.